Hi children, welcome to Educa. Today we are with a new video from Grade 7 Science. This is 14th lesson, Heat and Temperature. I have divided this lesson into several parts. Now we are discussing the first one. So, our first subtopic is measuring temperature. Now you can see a diagram here. Environment becomes warm during the daytime due to the solar heat and gets cool in the night. Warmness and coldness are two sensations that we feel. Now we have to do activity to find out more about warmness and coldness. This activity we need lukewarm water and cold water, two equal size beakers. Here, get equal amount of lukewarm water and cold water into two beakers of same size. Dip your fingers into the water of the beaker. Record your feeling. You may feel that there is a difference of warmth of the water in the two beakers. Water has heated on the hearth or on a burner when water was warmed by receiving thermal or heat energy. The measurement of a warmness or coldness of a substance is known as its temperature. Temperature of a substance decreases, that means cools, because of losing heat from that substance. We have to do another activity. In here, you have to find out how to measure temperature correctly. We need two small glass bottles with rubber stoppers, two empty tubes of ballpoint pens, two beakers, water and red ink. Here you have to fill the small glass bottles with colored water and fix the empty tubes of the ballpoint pens. Keep one of those bottles in a beaker filled with warm water and the other in a beaker filled with cold water. So what happens? Let's see what will happen in here. That's a small important thing under this practical. It is thermometers are used to measure temperature accurately and quantitatively. You can see a thermometer here. Let's see what we can observe under this practical. The liquid column in the tube of the bottle kept in warm water rises up. The liquid column in the tube of the bottle kept in cold water falls down. Accordingly, heat transfers from warm water in the beaker to the water in the bottle. Then the volume of water in the bottle increases to rise up along the tube. Water in the bottle kept in the beaker of cold water cools to decrease the volume. Then the liquid column in the tube of that bottle falls down. Increase of the volume of a liquid by gaining heat is called expansion of the liquid. It is the property of expansion of a liquid that is used in making thermometers. While we are making thermometers, there is a property we are using, expansion of a liquid. So, our next subtopic is thermometers. Here you can see a simple thermometer. A simple thermometer can be made and calibrated as indicated like this figure. A small glass bottle is filled with colored water and empty tube of ballpoint pen is fixed into it. A paper strip on which a scale is marked is glued to the tube. The bottle thus it is made dipped in beaker of water and the beaker is heated slowly. A mercury thermometer is dipped in the beaker of water. 
When the water is being heated, the temperature rises and the colored water column in the pen tube goes up. The position of upper end of the colored water column is marked on the paper strip for the same temperature readings indicated by the thermometer. The relevant temperature also should be indicated at the mark. After making several temperatures on the paper strip, a simple scale can be made. The water bottle thermometer thus made can be used to measure unknown temperatures in a short range. Here you can get an approximate value. Mercury is used as liquid of most thermometers used in today. In addition, alcohol is liquid used in thermometers. Alcohol used in thermometers is colored for clear observation of the thin alcohol column. Next subtopic is scales of thermometers. There are several scales used in present thermometers. Those are Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale and Kelvin scale. Here you can see a mercury thermometer and alcohol thermometer. Mercury thermometer is in silver colored one. Alcohol thermometer it is colored in red. Here the units of measuring temperature. Temperature scale is Celsius. Unit we are using capital C and a degree. Fahrenheit capital F and a degree. Kelvin capital K. The international standard unit of temperature is Kelvin. Here the equivalence between principal temperature scales are given in this table. Table contains with temperature, Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale and Kelvin scale. The boiling point of water under Celsius scale is 100, Fahrenheit scale 212, Kelvin scale shows 373. The freezing of point of water in Celsius scale is 0, in Fahrenheit 32, in Kelvin 273. Mean temperature of human body in Celsius scale 36.9, Fahrenheit scale 98.4, in Kelvin scale 309.9. Next subtopic is melting point and boiling point. There is a constant temperature at which a solid substance changes to the liquid state. We have to do an activity to find out the constant temperature at which ice changes to water. Here we need few pieces of ice cubes, a mercury thermometer, a glass funnel and a beaker. As the method of this practical, put some pieces of ice into the glass funnel and place the bulb of the thermometer in ice. Keep the funnel on the beaker and find the temperature of melting ice. Here it can be observed that the temperature at which ice is melting is 0 Celsius. Therefore, the constant temperature at which ice melts is called the melting point of ice. This shows you how ice turning into water. Ice is in solid form, water turning into liquid form by absorbing heat. So, melting point. The constant temperature at which a solid substance changes into its liquid state is known as the melting point of that substance. When water is cooled, ice is formed. The temperature at which water solidifies is also 0 Celsius and is known as the freezing point of water. When water is cooled in and it is turning into ice, we call this freezing. The temperature at which the sol water solidified at 0 Celsius and it is known as the freezing point of water.
here you can see some melting points of some subtensors subtens and melting point at 1 atm ice is 0 celsius paraffin wax is 60 celsius lead is 317 celsius iron 1539 celsius so we have to study about boiling point also the boiling point can be simply explained as the constant temperature at which a liquid substance change to its gaseous state we have to do an activity to find out the boiling point of water we need a boiling tube a thermometer some water a burner and laboratory stand here you have to take some water into the boiling tube and prepare the setup as shown in this figure. Heat the water for few minutes till it's boiled. Record the readings of the thermometer. It can be observed that the temperature at which water boils is 100 Celsius. So we can conclude that there is an exact temperature of boiling water. Water uh, is in liquid form so it is changing into steam that changing into gas form by absorbing heat the constant temperature at which a liquid substance changes to its gas state is known as the boiling point of that substance now you can find out some boiling points of substances alcohol 77 paraffin wax 370 water 100 lead 1744 iron 2900 now we have to discuss about how we use a thermometer correctly subtopic is using thermometer correctly observe this diagram carefully there are three steps you have to keep in mind while using a thermometer correctly first one thermometer should be held vertically so that the bulb of the thermometer is well in contact with the substance or liquid of which the temperature should be measured second one when taking the readings of the thermometer should be adjusted to the eye level third one I should be kept correctly in line with the mercury column as shown in this figure. Otherwise, if you observe it below or above, the reading is incorrect. There are some several activities to take readings of different substances or liquids correctly. The first one. You need a beaker, water, thermometer, a laboratory stand. Here, you have to place the bulb of the thermometer at the middle of the water and clamp it vertically. Observe the level of mercury column and take the reading accurately as shown in this figure. Next activity, you need thermometer. Here, hold the thermometer vertically and observe the mercury column accurately and take the reading. First practical, we are observing the temperature of water. Here, we are observing the room temperature. This activity, you need thermometer, beaker full with soy. Now, we are observe, we get in reading of the temperature of soy. Here, fill the beaker with the soil and dip the bulb of the thermometer well into the soil. After some time, take the reading of the thermometer. Soil temperature can be measured by soil thermometer in the natural environment as shown in the figure. Here I show you the how to measure in soil temperature. Next subtopic is clinical thermometer. Now you can see a clinical thermometer. There are special features of clinical thermometer first one there is a fine bend can you see the fine bend there is a fine bend in the capillary tube containing mercury next one 
the temperature range is short 35 celsius to 43 by using this clinical thermometer we are measuring the body temperature so body temperature is variating between 35 to 43 that's why the range is very short at the parts of this clinical thermometer bulb fine bend and capillary tube and scale also is there while measuring the body temperature by using clinical thermometer we have to follow some steps first one wash the bulb of the thermometer with an antiseptic solution keep the bulb of the thermometer under the tongue of the patient for about two minutes as shown in this figure remove the thermometer from the mouth and take the reading accurately while holding it vertically body temperature of small babies can be measured by keeping the bulb of the thermometer under their armpits for few minutes this diagram shows you the bend in the mercury column of the clinical thermometer there is a fine bend in capillary tube of the clinical thermometer it prevents the mercury column rises up or falling down before taking the measurement therefore the reading of the thermometer can be kept unchanged even after the thermometer is removed from the mouth of patient thermometer should be shaken well to send the mercury column down the bend before it is used for the next time thank you let's meet with the second part of the same lesson subtopic is heat transfer